What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinists. And on this very special episode of Machine Shop Talk, we're here in Hanover, Germany for Emo 2023. And today we're gonna get to check out the one, the only, DMG Mori City. This may look like a trade show all itself, but this is all DMG Mori. We're gonna get into it. Before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on notifications below to make sure you never miss a video. Let's get into it. a camera that detects where the chips are yeah and then removes them only where it's needed yeah that's the, that's the kind of insanity that i expect from dmg mori this isn't just a show piece this is a real piece that's a real piece it will fly to the moon this is an enormous hall and we have a whole boulevard of five axis machines we have horizontal milling machines we have, I saw some additive machines down there. This place is packed with everything you can imagine. That's DMG Mori. Very exciting today. We actually have a few world releases of new machines debuting. Um, these are things that haven't been seen before. We're going to get to talk to some people with demos, see these things in action and get into it together. So this here is the heart of DMG City. You can see we have a monoblock back here, a DMU 65H, and another DMU connected. Those are connected with an automation cell. And what's unique about that automation cell is it's actually feeding both machines material at the same time. If you wanted to, you could probably start a part on the left side, feed it through to the right for finishing, and even feed it back. Really innovative stuff on display here. The other thing that's really cool in here is you can see these giant screens around me. Those aren't projectors. Those are actually TV screens. They were Apple all the way around this main square and they have the whole story of dmg at mori and you can see that this is actually fairly early in the day and this place is already full of people there are going to be people coming through here all day checking out what dmg mori has in store so over here you can see they're actually running demos on these machines all day i believe the one is actually running a gear cutting demo big five axis moving on this i'm not too sure what the one on the right is here but we're going to be seeing that a little later joined by my friend Max right now to talk about the monoblock. This is a DMU 65H. We actually, when we were in front and got to see the place where these were made. Yeah, exactly. Now this is a new thing, right? This pH cell twin to be able to feed two machines. Yeah, kind of. We just uh, presented it last year at the AMB and now we are presenting it over here at the um, EMO as well. But if we're talking about the machine, DMU yes. 65H monoblock, you just can see here it's a horizontal machine. The spindle is one of our highlights within this machine. We are using in this machine a 20,000 RPM spindle, wow. a Speedmaster spindle, which is kind of unique. Uh, we are um, providing 36 months of um, warranty for our customers for the spindle, which is really a, a big benefit. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. What excites you most about the monoblock EMU? It's a very, very... Um, reliable machine as you can see over here then you have the accessibility which is still fine for a horizontal machining center you can just access um, the working envelope in a very good way over here so perfect visibility for the operator one thing i thought was really cool is we have this dmg mori city skyline here behind us here we have these are parts that come from japan DMG Mori Japan runs a contest every year for their customers and operators of DMG Mori machines to design and program their own parts. And this one over here, the DMG Mori, uh, Mori Butterfly, this was actually made as part of that contest and was the winner of last year. It's a really cool example of just how hard you can push these machines. We've got extremely fine features. We have very complicated geometry and some very nice finishes. Over here, we have a couple others. We have uh, a lamp that I believe it's called the Big Bang. And the cool thing is it shows what machine these were ran on, how long it took. This was literally 100 hours of runtime. Um, it's basically a bird cage. I don't even know how you could do that. And then over here, this one I love, the badminton shuttlecock. It was about 50 hours apparently to run on a DMU-50. It's almost hard to believe that this is a machine component. Now this, we can see this demo running. This is an insane machine. Why don't you tell me a little bit about it? 
So this is our world premiere, the new CTX Beta 450GC. It has five axis simultaneous machining in standard, big spindles on the left and right side. You see the 400 millimeter chuck. We have 60 tools in standard in this machine. You can go up to 200. We have the new Cinemeric one with 3D shop floor programming. So many, many features, which are, I think, very interesting for our customers. So this thing will program a five axis program just by putting in 3D da data, like a set file or an STL, exactly. and then selecting what faces I want to do, and it will yeah. go ahead and do it for me. Yeah, you choose the tools you want to use, and then you are basically done. That's so, it. Yeah. When we're looking at this machine inside here, yeah. that spindle obviously has a full rotation on it, but I was looking at the sign over there, and this isn't just a mill turn machine. You can actually grind in this as well. Yeah. You have an integrated acoustic emission sensor. You have the compact master with 15,000 RPM in standard. So why not? You can go also to the uh, 20,000 RPM spindle. You have the tool changer at the top part. And at the lower part, there is the ability to measure your tools. So separate it. Quite so the interesting tool, for me. The tool actually gets changed on the top there. And you're saying that, yeah. that second door opens. And that's for probing the tool? Yeah, it's a lower. It seems like a do everything machine yeah. and do it very well. Yeah. Now, of course, while we see some huge advanced machines here, they also have advanced machines that are smaller. I had to check this one out. This is a CMX 50U. This is a machine I'm actually looking at for my own shop. Um, I've got it quoted out, pricing looks good. It's a five axis machine. It has a pallet pool on this one, which is something I'm also looking at just to help. You know, improve the automation. We're, we don't do enough automation in my shop, so it's something I'm trying to get into a little more. But it's a really capable machine, has the same controllers as the big ones, the ability to program five axis right from the controller. I'm likely going to pick one of these up. You know, it's uh, too good to pass up, but I had to visit this machine. And just peeking over at this real quick, this is the PH150. This is the pallet pool for this. And you can see it can fit up to 250 kilograms on each pallet. You know, for a job shop, we do stuff of varying size. It would be nice to be able to have, you know, a five axis that can still handle some heavy, larger parts, just despite the smaller footprint of it. So we got something really special for you guys here. We have the giant DMF 311 FD. We're gonna get to see a live cutting demo on this with my friend, Robert. Robert, thank you very much for joining nice us. Nice to meet you. What are we going to see in here? Um, now we're seeing our new BMF 300 11 with a big HSK 100 spindle and also some turning functions in the FD table. Because it's got a full vertical turning lathe. That's right, there. yeah, up to 700 RPM. And what's we the max use, weight you can put on there? We can put on uh, roughly 1,200 kilograms. And that thing will still spin at That's that full fast RPM. It should be fast enough. Are we going to get to see some chips? No, we see some chips on the big uh, silk block. Unreal. Let's take a peek. I've been dying to see this thing run. So you can see that tool changer is about to go right now. What diameter cutter is that that it just pulled It's out? a diameter 80 cutter with seven flutes. And ooh, now we're going down with eight and a half millimeter and 60 millimeter. Look at the side. size of those chips coming out there. That's cutting dry too, and that thing's not even slowing down. You can tell that spindle has extreme rigidity to it. There's no chatter whatsoever. No, that's really one of the advantages of our new machine. So it's really rigid because you have a iron cast bed and all um, new uh, design machine structure on our, our traveling column. So it's good to use this HSK 100 spindle that up to 430 newton meters and i take it this is really for heavy industry people who want to do huge parts tons of material removal yeah that's crazy so if you wanted you could put something on the vertical turning center and then go and remove that much material from a flat profile no problem at all that's right yeah Jeez. so you have a lot of possibilities what kind of work pieces you can do on those machines Look at that thing cut. It's not even slowing now. And then on that right-hand side there, that looks like, is that just a standard four, uh, fourth axis? That's our fourth exit. It's a NC dividing head. Uh, this one is our own design and own production. 
Now, when you're milling that block, how often do you have to uh, shovel out that machine? Because this thing is just firing chips away there. Yeah, luckily we have a chip conveyor, so it's done by itself. So. <laughs> but you will fill up um, the chip in daily twice. Easily. <laughs> Easily. And now, what's the uh, what's the tool magazine that comes standard on this machine? Um, standard magazine is uh, in this case thirty tools, and the second option would be fifty tools for a uh, big type of um, tool holders. It's incredible though that with that quick of material removal, the finish on that, from what is I assume a roughing yeah. operation, is still very very nice. Yeah. One thing DMG Mori has across the DMG Mori city here are these technology theaters. These are super cool. They're essentially a hologram. And what they're doing is they're highlighting, there's a whole series of parts that we talked about with the DMG city skyline. And this is showing how those were made, the challenges that were faced, the material. And you can see, we'll walk you through the entire process of how some of these extremely complicated parts were accomplished. So you can see this is actually a spiral be bevel gear. It's using wind power. They're showing how they took this into DMG software and use the DMG software to program the tool pass for this. Yeah. Now, tell me about the INH-63. Yeah, the INH-63 is our newest five axis machine. We have here a very stable, uh, dynamic and precise machine. We have in every or each axis, we have uh, twin ball screws. So it means on each axis, we have two uh, engines who driven the um, axis and also the b-axis is direct uh, directly driven and is that a new feature for dmg mori yeah it's uh, like it makes a machine very precise and dynamic and so on and i imagine not only very precise but very very stable yeah very stable the machine uh, the weight is 27 tons oh wow so it's massive and what excites you about this machine yeah we have here some pretty cool features like the IA chip removal. So we have a camera inside the machine and the camera detects the chips and then the coolant will uh, find the chips and flush the chips to the chip convertery. So hold on, you have a camera that detects where the chips are yeah. and then removes them only where it's needed. Yeah. That's, it's, the, that's the kind of insanity that I expect from DMG Mori. I love it. And also we have the uh, zero coolant slush tank pro, which means we have 100 uh, bar of uh, internal coolant pressure and we will find the particles in the coolant to a you know, filter that the coolant is always uh, clean and we have no small chips inside. And what kind of work pieces can we put in here? So we can uh, load uh, work pieces up to one meter and one oh. meter high and up to uh, with the five axis um, mode or with the five axis option we have one ton but you can also the buy uh, buy the machine with uh, four axis and then you could uh, put on uh, 1.5 tons so this thing will five axis one ton yeah and pallet change it yeah of course now we're going to be seeing quite a few of these ph cells here this is a fairly new release as well and when you see ph cell that basically means it's an automation cell. So it's gonna have pallet changing, it's gonna have robotic loading. They have them in this large format, they have them in smaller formats, attached to a variety of machines here. We can see that's a very nice five axis machine. So behind me here, we have the AMR 2000. This is a really innovative solution that we actually got to see a little bit of when we were at the front facility. It's basically a robotic system that will go ahead and move things around a shop completely. It's, it's almost like a miniature forklift, but this can go load parts and machines in combination, you know, with a, a robotic arm. Right now we have it going and switching out all the scrap bins for this machine. So essentially it's continuing along the whole theme of freeing people up to do more productive work. You know, can a guy go and change scrap bins by himself? Sure. But that person can also be doing real work, programming, running the machine, doing inspections. There's better things for people to be doing than work that these can do. So this helps free up people to do work that needs to be done. Now, what is this machine we're looking at here? So it's a hybrid machine. Um, hybrid means we have full milling functionality. We have a second tool inside, which add material. So it's like a 3D print printing system. But, so in other words, I can print, 
mill, print, mill, essentially as much as I want. Exactly like that, yeah? So that means that you can do some geometries in there that I imagine you can't do with anything else. Exactly. This one is just uh, possible with that machine. The part is uh, a rocket nozzle. It's a real part. And the crazy thing at, uh, in this part is we have the outside. It's done with Inconel. In, in the inside, we have a copper alloy. And normally it's not possible to to melt this or weld it together manually. So what we do layer by layer and connect it and it's perfect. So this could actually print multiple materials, right? You're not just printing steel. You can print copper and ink canal or steel in the same part. Exactly. Wow. That's it. Now when we're talking build size, what's the biggest part we can build in there? So that's the smallest machine, 65. We also have a bigger one. But in here we have a height of 380 millimeter. That's pretty big. Maximum. That's enough. And what is there? Can you put a fairly heavy part on there if you want to mill as well? Also, uh, I'm not sure, 600 to 800 kilo. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and the other thing you know you have to realize about this is that while this is an additive, subtractive hybrid machine, if you wanted to, you could just use this like a mill. Of course. So if you had Full a job to go right. in, you could just pop it in. It's still a DMG Mori five axis mill. It is. Now, I would love to see that part. Is there any way we can take a peek at it? Yeah, sorry. Um, I cannot open the door during the exhibition. Let's go there. Sure. I have a finished one. Now, I'm guessing that this part is part of the DMG Mori city skyline. Of course. I think course. I saw this one here, but I did not take a close look at it. <laughs> You were also saying that this this isn't just a show piece. This is a real piece. That's a real piece. It will fly to the moon. Is that what it's for? Yeah. A rocket nozzle. Here you can see the two materials. Um, also, it's finished at the, with the uh, milling function. So that finish in there is straight off the mill. Yeah. That hasn't been polished. That hasn't no. been ground. That is straight milled. That's crazy. And I can see there, the other thing that's unique about this is that since it does use 3D printing, it looks like there's hollows that run the entire width of that part. And there you couldn't do that any other way aside from 3D printed. Yes, that's the, the special thing you can do just with our machine. There you have it guys i hope you enjoyed this experience as much as i did um, dmg mori city you feel like a kid in a candy store when you're walking through it from the new newly released machines to some of the most impressive technology on display i've ever got to witness firsthand this was absolutely incredible as always make sure you like subscribe and turn on notifications below to make sure you never miss a video thank you very much for watching guys you take care